We'll guide you through how to install Vein Miner in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Vein Miner is super useful. So what this means is when you go and break one of the blocks in a vein, for example, diamond, iron, coal, they're all going to break. So it saves so much time. So if you're doing some type of challenge, it's super useful to go and have. And to go and install it is so easy as well. So just to prove to you I don't currently have it installed, I'll break one. And as you can see, it doesn't break them all. I'll repeat that for the diamond and then the iron. So now let's go and continue. So what we need to do is go and quit Minecraft or just the world. And then what you need to do is head to the link in the description and that will bring you to Vein Miner. Now, before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server to play with friends, etc., then go and check them out. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So with Apex Hosting, they offer one-click install mod packs, 24-7 servers and support so you can get the help anytime you need it, and so many more features. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. I'll go and put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description so you can get started. But back to Vein Miner, you can go and read through the description here. But to go and get it, what you need to do is go over to the right and go and click on versions. You can read through the description here and there's some useful information about it. Now what this is, is a data pack. So it isn't really a complete mod. We can install it without needing a mod loader. It's really straightforward and I'll be covering it in this video. So what you need to do is go to the right where it says description. You've got a couple options. You want to go and click on versions. Now, what you want to do is make sure you get the data pack platform because you're going to notice there is fabric and a few others as well. And you can go and see the version for what it's for just in the game version column. So in my case, I'm playing Minecraft 1.21.1. So I can go and use this top one. It will vary a little bit for you. If you're unsure what version you're playing, it says in the top left and the bottom left in the menu. So what you can then do is download the version you want go to the right and click on the download button and it will download. You can find it in your file explorer in your downloads. I'm just going to go and put it on my desktop like so. Here it is just here. Now we can return to Minecraft and go and click on single player. Find the world you want to go and add it to and select it and click on edit in the bottom left. Then what you want to do is I'm just going to make Minecraft a bit smaller. You need to click on open world folder and in here you need to go and click on data packs. And what you can then do is go and add the pack in like so, it's that simple. You can then close it and you can go and press save. And now what you can do is go and load the world. And so here we are. Now what I'm going to show you is when we break one of the blocks, they all get broken. We'll start with the coal, as you can see like that, all of them in the vein go and get broken. The same thing for the diamond as well and for the iron as well. It's that simple. They do all need to be in the same vein. As you can see, this piece of coal wasn't, which is why it wasn't included. So yeah, it saves a ton of time and it's super good if you're trying to do some type of challenge. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex Hosting. A huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. It means a lot. So you can go and play with your friends and play with mod packs, do all sorts over there. And we've got a ton of other Minecraft guides you can check out as well.